from the six-week-long trial between her and Johnny Depp. We've all seen firsthand just what Amber Heard is capable of and I'm not even talking about assaulting her significant other. Here, I'm talking about the actress actually cohorting with other people to actually make the lives of Johnny's lawyers harder. But it seems she might have crossed the line this time. So, exactly what did Amber do to Johnny's lawyer and who's been helping her? Way before the verdict was given, a significant portion of the population pretty much already saw the truth from the piles of evidence introduced. As such, many of the other things that were revealed towards the end of the trial weren't exactly surprising. Well, turns out there were a lot more things happening behind closed doors and one of them is that Amber actually waged personal wars against Johnny's people out of court, specifically his lead counsel Camille Vasquez. And the actress wasn't working alone, she had help from some influential people, one of which was a Stanford University professor named Michelle Dauber. The revelation of Amber cohorting with the professor was made by a user on TikTok and shortly after, social media went crazy about just how far Amber was willing to go to damage Johnny's case. According to the revelation made by the TikToker, Amber and the professor have actually been connected as far back as 2016 when they both appeared at a glamour event for women empowerment. Now, six years later, the same professor is attacking Camille Vasquez online, and therein lies the connection this user was able to make. Explaining her point more, the user stated, And the plot thickens. It looks like Amber Heard has employed her little soldiers to do her dirty work. If you saw my video from earlier, you will know that Michelle Dober, a Stanford law professor, yes, a Stanford law professor, wrote extremely vicious and inappropriate tweets about Camille Vasquez, Johnny Depp's attorney, basically calling her desperate and not a real attorney. And here are those vicious tweets. Well, here she is, cozy, cozy next to Amber. And here's some more evidence for you. These pictures are from a glamour event from 2016, which was paying tribute to female trailblazers. Hmm. Tricky, tricky. According to other reports, the professor has actually been criticized by several legal experts online for her actions in recent times as it wasn't even only Johnny's lawyer she focused her attacks on. She actually attacked everyone that was supporting the actor through this terrible ordeal he has had to face. Now, given how things have been going for Vasquez, she makes it look like it's all been pitchy comments from everyone to her. But there have actually been some cases where she has been under attack from people and Michelle Dauber, who tweeted some vile things about her, just happens to be one of those people. Taking to Twitter, Ms. Dauber wrote, in a society that strips women of real power, some women have learned to seek male approval in the hopes they won't be raped or abused or humiliated. Sucking up to power might feel good to you, but it won't work. You will be next. Continuing the thread, she shared an image of Camille Vasquez with the words, of all the women who suck up to male power, women lawyers are the absolute worst of the bunch. Desperate to prove they are real lawyers and understanding that being a woman undermines their identity as lawyers. They throw women under the bus as hard and fast as they can. Later, when a Twitter user suggested that if Miss Dauber's son were accused of domestic abuse, she would be happy to have Mrs. Vasquez represent him. She replied, if my son was accused of DV, he would have a lot more to worry about than some pick-me girl lawyer. These words have been criticized by several people including British barrister Daniel Shensmith. And just like these legal experts who have condemned her for saying these things about a fellow lawyer, fans have also been calling the professor out on social media. One user wrote, Michelle Dauber is a professor at Stanford trashing Camille Vasquez for doing her job and doing it superbly. Her timeline is so disgusting, I cannot believe she has a job. Another user who seems to be a little more passionate about all of this stated that the professor deserved a petition. In their words, I'm not into cancel culture. But in this case, the damage that Michelle Dauber has done and Stanford University's failure to address it deserves a petition. At this point, it just seems like virtually everyone that was involved with Amber when the battle between her and Depp started has been on a payroll to make sure she wins either through wild accusations or saying terrible things about the opposition. And with the amount of traction her actions have garnered, it's almost certain that this will affect her chances of appeal badly. How about you? Do you think Amber took things too far with this?